Hi, I'm Josh, and today I'm going to show you how to install your windfall frame for conference rooms. You can mount it one of three ways. To the side of a door frame like this, onto a flat wall surface, or to a VESA 100 compatible mounting device. It also has two methods of keeping your tablet charged. POE adapter, or power over ethernet, or an Amazon Basics external power bank. I'm going to talk about all these topics and show you how to install your windfall frame for conference rooms. Your kit will include a windfall frame for conference rooms, four black screw caps, four wood screws, four drywall anchors, four VESA mounting screws, four VESA mounting nuts, two aluminum mounting screws for side mounting your frame, and an assembly tool. You'll also need a Phillips head screwdriver, a level, and an iPad mini one, two, or three. Windfall frame for conference rooms has a variety of different ways to power your tablet and options for mounting it to the wall. So here are some other tools you might consider. A power drill, a half inch drill bit, 5 30 seconds inch drill bit, a power over ethernet adapter, an Amazon Basics external battery charger, and your iPad's power cord. The PoE adapter, or power over ethernet, will be available via our website. Windfall frame for conference rooms consists of three main parts. The front face plate, the back plate, and the side mounting plate. The front face plate will be secured to the back plate using these four security screws, and the side mounting plate will be secured to the back plate using these four short security screws. So the first thing I went ahead and did was I removed the side mounting plate from our windfall frame for conference rooms. I need to get access to these holes so I can make markings where I'm gonna make my drill points. We're gonna hold the mounting plate up against the door frame and take a pen or pencil and mark our holes. The top and bottom holes are going to be used for mounting our frame, and the center hole we cut out here is going to allow us to channel an ethernet cord to power our tablet. With our holes properly mounted, next we're going to take the power drill and a 5 30 seconds inch drill bit and drill the top and bottom holes where the frame is going to be mounted. Next we're going to take our power drill and a half inch drill bit to drill out this center hole. For this installation, we're gonna be using a uh, Cat5 cable and our PoE or power over ethernet adapter to power our iPad. So I've gone ahead and drilled a hole in the base of the door frame and channeled a Cat5 cable up through it. Next, we're gonna take our side mounting plate and our Phillips head screwdriver and aluminum mounting screws and we're gonna go ahead and install the side mounting plate to the door frame. Next, we're going to reinstall the back plate of our frame to the side mounting plate using our assembly tool and the small security screws. So I'm going to proceed to show you how to use an ethernet cord and a power over ethernet adapter to power your tablet. You can also use this slot and an external battery pack to power your tablet while it's installed as well. I'll cover that in a segment later in this video. To power your iPad using the ethernet cord that we channeled through the door frame, you're going to need a PoE adapter. This is going to allow you to take the power and data that come up through the ethernet cord, separate it out into a data and power channel, and allow you to use the power channel to power your tablet. The PoE adapter fits specifically in this square here. We're going to take the ethernet port that we channeled up through the door frame, and plug it into our PoE adapter. Then we're gonna take the power cable with a female USB adapter and wrap its cables into the back plate of the frame. This ethernet cord only carries data, not power. So we can just stash this behind our tablet when we install it. Next, we're gonna take our iPad lightning cable, plug it into the female USB and use the cord management features in the back plate of the frame to wrap our cables. For the final steps, we're gonna take our iPad, plug it into power, and install it to our frame. We're gonna reinstall the security screws using the assembly tool. The 
second mounting option we have for windfall frame for conference rooms is to simply mount it to a wall. Let's mount our windfall frame for conference rooms to a wall. First thing we're going to want to do is take the back plate of our frame and mark the holes where we're going to put our drywall anchors. Be sure to double check your markings with a level to make sure it's even. Now that we've double checked that our markings are even, we're going to take our four drywall anchors and hammer them into the wall where we marked. With our drywall anchors halfway hammered into the wall, we're going to finish it up with a Phillips head screwdriver. Make sure your drywall anchors are nice and flush with the wall. With our drywall anchors installed in the wall, we're going to take the back plate of our frame, the black mounting screws, and a Phillips head screwdriver to mount the back plate of the frame to the wall. Before we install our tablet, we're going to need to decide how we want to power our tablet while it's in the frame. You can use the standard uh, power cord that your iPad comes with, or you can use an external battery pack by Amazon Basics. Windfall Frame for Conference Rooms is specifically designed to work with Amazon Basics external power bank. This will allow you to extend your tablet's battery life by twofold. When both your tablet and your power bank's batteries are dead, you can leave your tablet installed while you remove the power bank to charge it. To properly install the power bank, we're first going to take our lightning cord and connect it to one of the USB hubs in the power bank. Next, we're going to take our lightning cord and use the cable management built into the frame to wrap our cord around and keep it organized. With our cord wrapped, we're going to go ahead and place the power bank inside the back plate of the frame. Next, we're going to take our iPad mini in one hand and the face plate of our frame in the other and mount the tablet in the frame. Then we're going to take the security screw and our assembly tool and we're going to secure the front face plate of the frame to the back plate. Once your tablet's secure, go ahead and plug the power cord in. For the final touch, take your screw caps and cover up any exposed hardware on the back. There's a third mounting option for a windfall frame for conference rooms. This whole pattern here is VESA 100 compatible, so we can use our windfall frame for conference rooms with any VESA 100 compatible mounting device. And that's how you install your windfall frame for conference rooms. If you have any questions, email us at service at hecklerdesign.com. Thanks for watching.